Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. Uh, today we are talking about T.C. Parker's Salvation Spring. Now if you notice, uh, this cover is not the cover that is on the thumbnail, and that's because I actually redid the cover. Ross Jeffrey did a fantastic job with this cover, um, but we were having problems with uploading it. Um, it's something about Amazon's... Uh, I'm, I'm going to get to all the reasoning here in a second. Something about Amazon's uh, plagiarism algorithm. Um, TC took her book down from her personal Amazon account and we uploaded it on our uh, collective Hold My Beer publishing uh, account and there were copyright issues. We changed the cover and it worked just fine. Um, so anyways, but uh, I need to let you know up front that TC Parker is a collaborator of mine, a really good friend of mine. We talk daily, uh, multiple times a day. Uh, we are also business partners um, with our publishing company, uh, Hold My Beer Publishing, um, and we are just all around just good pals, okay? Uh, you need to know that going into this, um, but again, like I've said uh, the past two days, I am harder on my friends than I am on strangers. So with that being said, this is my least favorite T.C. Parker book. Now, I am still giving it five stars. Why is that? Because Hummingbird... Um, her other works, Hummingbird, Salt Blood, especially Hummingbird, is a masterpiece to me. I don't, I don't think I've, I've never read such a, a good book, and it being from a friend, I, I say that I, that's very high. That's very, it's a very high compliment, a high praise from me. Um, I have, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that book. No criticism I can make about it. It is an absolute masterpiece, and she killed it. With this one. I had certain qualms with certain story aspects, but there is nothing wrong with this book whatsoever. Uh, perfectly written, perfectly paced, perfectly everything, so I'm still giving it five stars. I've given all of her stuff so far that I have read five stars. I'm still giving this one five stars, but I would read everything else that I have read so far from her before I would reread that stuff before I would reread this one. And that's just me being honest. Um, so highest possible recommendation for all of T.C. Parker's stuff, and especially this stuff. What is the story about? The story is um, a Western. Um, I, I say that with a little asterisk. Asterisk? I, it's one of those words I can't I have a problem saying. Um, I, I say that with a, with a little star at the end. Um, and the reason I say that is, is a spoiler, so I won't get into that. Um, it is very Blake Crouch much awesomeness um i i loved it uh the 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 twists and the reveals about certain characters and certain other things that i can't even mention because it's going to spoil the book for you blew my mind i think that was fantastic that was great i loved the relationship between jess and sasha um i i loved all that stuff but again if i were to weigh it against all of the rest of her stuff this is this is, and I don't even want to say bottom of the barrel because for all of this stuff is floating at the top. But some of it is just peeking above the surface and some of it is underneath the, the apples. You know what I'm talking about? I hope you do. I feel like I'm rambling. Um, but I love T.C. Parker to death. Uh, she's a very, very dear friend of mine. Um, and this one is a damn good book. It's just not my favorite of hers. Um, and I, I think that's a testament to the quality of her writing um, is... is yeah, the quality of her writing is just exceptional. Um, so, anyways, going back to the story, uh, there's a place called Salvation Spring, and it has secrets. Um, dead people are being found full of insects and animals and all different kinds of weird stuff. It's a very cool setup, um, and halfway through the book, the entire book changes. Um, it goes a bit... So if you're looking for just a simple Western splatterpunk horror whatever, this is not the droid you are looking for. Um, it is far deeper than that. It's far more expansive and epic than that. Even though it is a novella at only 136 pages, um, you get a grand story out of this. And I'm also privy to some information that there is a massive 
tome of a book coming that is tied into this universe and I am so I'm so super excited for it I've already read like the first 30,000 words and it is absolutely amazing um, so definitely go pick this one up um, don't think I have any criticisms for it because I don't uh, the only thing that, I, that I've said and I've said it m multiple times you know how I repeat myself the only reason this isn't a favorite is because all the rest of her stuff is literally perfect um, I have some little qualms about this piece, but it's all nitpicky subjective stuff that you don't need to know. Form your own opinion. Go out and buy the book yourself. Uh, links down there in the doobly-doo. It is an affiliate link. I have to tell you this this stuff because I get a couple pennies if you go and buy from the link. Or if you click that link and go buy something else, it doesn't matter. I get a few pennies, so if you want to help out the channel, do that. Um, but have you read Salvation Spring by T.C. Parker? Uh, if you have, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.